Hi and welcome to Project Marlin. This is uh, sadly another talking head video. Um, it's a horrible day outside, otherwise you might have been sat outside for this video. Um, it's more of one of the vloggy update sort of things that I've been threatening to do. Um, we'll start off talking about uh, where the Marlin is, what's happened with the Marlin, uh, what's going to happen with the Marlin, what's holding up the Marlin. Uh, I'm going to talk about what I've been doing and a little bit about whether I regret my decision to go self-employed rather than than um, get a job with somebody that's going to pay me. So if we start out with the Marlin, um, very, very little has happened since the last video you've seen of me working on her. Uh, the cab's a bit more stripped down and we're at a point now where we need to start cutting metal work out. I'm very loath to cut metal work out of the cab until we have metal to put back in. So if I'm going to start cutting the floor plates out, that's great, they've got to come out. Some of the framework underneath has to be replaced. I want to be able to cut that out and weld. I don't want to cut the whole framework out and then have to try and work out how to put it back in. I want to do one piece at a time and rebuild it that way. Uh, the hold up there is cash flow. So I think I tied it up. Um, we need about thousand pounds, fifteen hundred pounds to to do the metal work in the cab. Once we've done the metal work in the cab, it's then the windscreen time, which could be I don't know, could be upwards of five thousand pounds maybe. Um, I need to pin the manufacturer down um, and see if I can actually get them a price. I've got an agreement from. Bowton that they'll write me a letter to the glass manufacturer to say that I'm authorised to buy it because it's on a restricted sale um, but because I'm not anywhere near that point I haven't tried to put anything in, in motion yet um, so the funding side of the Marlin um, is it's a, it's a long and it's a short story the original plan was to buy a fire engine I had a pot of money and this money was going to buy a fire engine and it was going to help it was going to pay for it to be done up or myself to do it up and maybe run it for a few months um, taking it to shows I saw the Marlin I fell in love with the Marlin and this whole part bought the Marlin um, so there was no money left to to do it I thought I had some money uh, coming to me quite quickly after buying the Marlin. Um, however, there's been a huge issue on that score. Um, there is still money theoretically coming at some point. Um, however, it's been two years and early. Uh, it's been, been 18 months since I was expecting to get it. Um, and it's just not happened yet uh, there's certain legal issues that have caused it to be delayed um, I had some redundancy come in um, which I, I've had <laughs> uh, when I was made redundant from my, my previous job uh, that's basically gone on living rather than being diverted to the mile in which some of it was going to um, but the mile project's project still ongoing from what I originally thought was going to be uh, yeah, cheers Rose <laughs> the chat wrestles just obviously got a bit of a summit in her throat um, what I thought was going to be a 6 to 18 month project is in all honesty um, when we started stripping the cab it became very very evident that it was going to extend to a few years um, with lockdown and uh, all the financial implications from, from lockdown it's probably potentially a 10 maybe 15 year project um, I'd like it to be quicker than that um, 15 years I'll be 55 and I'd much rather start driving it around long before then um, so uh, yeah that's the Marlin I'm not considering giving her up um, it's been talked about and she's not eating or drinking anything where she's sat at the moment um so yeah that's that's where she is so time and money 
Um, I can make time, I just don't seem to be able to make the money at the moment. Um, so my life in the last year, oh, last couple of years, like everybody who's sat watching this video and the few of you that have made it this far, um, it's just been absolute mayhem. I mean, with with the lockdowns, with the global pandemic and, and everything else, it's, it's been a really hard year, especially going into that with no job uh, at the beginning and trying to start a business through it. It has been just such an uphill struggle. Um, this year has been better. It's been a lot better. I'm very close to where I need to be. I've had a couple of good, really good months, um, but I'm still at the point where I need to reinvest a lot into the business and I can't take money for myself very much. Um, and we're at a turning point as well. So what started out as a small business and I didn't expect to expand from doing a bit of mechanic in on garden equipment for people. Um, I'm now considering, I'm now holding a stock of spares. I'm now looking into selling spares to the general public. I'm looking into hiring out equipment. I'm looking into taking on an employee and we are sorting out at the moment uh, an expansion to the workshop so we can do this. Um, oh, did I say hiring equipment? I can't remember. We're looking into hiring out some equipment as well. So I think we've also got the ability now to sell new machinery. Um, we've got deals with companies that will allow us to do that. So that's that's so the business is building really well. I mean, for this this point in history, I think we're doing really really well. Um, bumbled into it completely. Um, went into it with some very uh, naive um, outlook a little bit like I did with the Marlin saw my mates who, who work in building, are self-employed um, very very good at what they do uh, they seem to make quite a good good money from it they've got a nice um, way of life they've got a fair bit of free time uh, and they've got work all year long whereas my work is a lot more seasonal um, it's quieting down at the moment. Hopefully, um, later on in the year, it will start picking up where people want to get equipment serviced. I've been very lucky. I've picked up some large houses, um, like country houses, uh, that I'm doing some work for. And uh, one of the local cricket clubs I'm doing, they, they've said they want me to get all their equipment in um, over the winter. And there's a few other places. So it's that's, that's not going too badly. Um, sat looking back, do I regret, what do I regret in the last two years? Because my, my confusing life started nearly two years ago, when, in fact more than two years ago when my late mother fell ill uh, and then subsequently passed. Um, should I have stayed and uh, found another role within the company that I was working for? No, I probably shouldn't have actually. Um, the company I was working for, when I started for them, were a very good company. The project I was involved with was a fantastically interesting project. I worked with some great people. Um, since I've left, there's been more redundancy, or since I was made redundant, there have been more redundancies. The company has changed. Um, it's been restructured continuously. And I know a few people that have stayed there, and it's, apparently it's not such a good place to be anymore. So I don't regret not trying to stay with them. Um, should I have bought the Marlin? No. <laughs> that's, that's a really, really easy thing to say. Oh, I keep seeing all these, um, there's loads of channels popping up at the moment on YouTube uh, this year. Oh, I've just bought a fire truck and it's like, yeah, great. Um, <laughs> actually, they're, they're, to be fair, I sound slightly sarcastic there. It's great, they bought fire trucks. It's mostly American channels. Most of these fire trucks have been bought straight out of service. There's not really any project to do with them. Um, there's a few fire truck project channels out there. They're quite interesting to watch. There's some guys from a fire brigade in the US, and they've actually bought one of their old town trucks, and they've been doing bits to it. I mean, they really make me wince watching them. Um, they they don't really know what they're doing but they're having a go at it and fair play to the guys um, good for them like that, I think that's brilliant um, obviously everybody knows Laurie from LMM he's got his two fire trucks that's 
really it's his fault that I decided to I wanted to do a fire truck project. Um, but love seeing the fact that Jupiter's back out and about, and I really, I really want some pro see some progress on Red Ruth. But I totally understand the fact that there's lots of other things to do, and I also understand just how much work's involved. Uh, Lawrence from Extreme Garage, yeah, he did his project, um, and he came down and did the video with us. Uh, not February just gone, but the February before. Uh, absolutely lovely bloke. And I loved watching his videos on the fire truck. Um, quite missed the fact he, he hasn't been putting out videos quite so often. But hey, he's got his own business. I haven't posted in nine months. Um, I don't know what it's like. It's, it's madness. Um, young lad with Green Goddess, uh, Perks Autos, I think it was. I will bet money he's a, he's a squaddy. Um, he certainly looks like he's on a camp and, and some of the, the terminology he's using. But he's having a go. Um, not since, I think his videos haven't. It's been a while since he's posted a video. I'd love to know where he's getting on with it. But these are guys doing proper fire engine projects. Um, I'd love to see it. But it seems to become a YouTube fad at the moment. That, oh, hey, I bought a fire truck. Um, says the person that bought a fire truck. So, <laughs> although my claim to fame is, um, it's I think it's still one of the only, what's well, only. Uh, private project of a airport fire truck that I found on YouTube um, I'd love to see somebody else stupid enough to take one of these on and do some videos because it proved that I'm not the dumbest person on YouTube but anyway yeah I regret buying the Marlin um, that's wrong no is it isn't it I can't make my mind up I don't regret owning the Marlin I own the Marlin and she's mine and I'm I am going to do my best to get her back working and back on the road. Was it, I don't regret buying it, um, but was it a stupid idea? It was a really, really stupid idea. It was a really stupid thing for me to do it. Um, there was whole reasons behind that. I'm not going into them now. They are in old videos. Um, so, regrets. Do I regret not keeping a job? Stay, staying with the old company no do I regret buying the Marlin no but it was a stupid idea do I regret going self-employed and starting my own business I do have a very very big regret with regards to starting my own business and going self-employed um, 10 years ago probably about 10 years ago um, my mother I was in a job I didn't like and my mother went on and on at me about go self-employed and I would not do it and in hindsight I regret not going self-employed sooner um, some days I sit here and I do regret being self-employed I think it's not going to work I'm going to go bankrupt I'm never going to make any money uh, but then next day yeah jobs are going well jobs are coming in people are paying me um, and, and it's yeah no I'm enjoying it most of the time but it is difficult it's far harder than I expected it to be um, I mean we're getting to a point now where I've had customers not pay me um, but when they've been given a nudge they have done uh, I'm coming up to the point at the moment where I'm probably gonna have to take someone to court and that's not so nice um, but anyway uh, that's that's that really I haven't got much else to tell you I've already bored your ears off um, if you've got this far and if you have done well done I would give you a like if I could do um, we're on you we're on YouTube you're watching us on YouTube we're on Facebook we're on Instagram uh, not much going on, on either of those two pages at the moment we do have a teespring page where you can uh, buy Project Marlin t-shirts and things and we also have a GoFundMe. Um, if you decide you want to give to it, that would be ace because that will help us. If we can get some money together to get the steel uh, for the cab, we can get moving again. Um, we're going to get it, whatever happens. It's just going to take us a while. Uh, but if you've got any comments, comment down below. I'd uh, love to hear from you. Click us a like. If you haven't subscribed before, please subscribe or persuade your mates to do it. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in less than nine months with some much more interesting news. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.